Hey guys, today I will be showing you how you can use use history in React. So the first thing we need to install here is if we go to our terminal, let's open a new one, npm install react dash router dash tom. And I'll be back when this is done installing. So after that's done installing, let's go back to our app. And we're gonna need, we're gonna need to import browser router as router. And we also want to import use history from react dash router dash dom. So how we access this use history, if we go here, we're going to make a variable called history. And that's going to be equal to use history. And now we'll have access to that. So I'm just going to add a simple button here that's going to say go to slash login. And we're going to make a simple function. Let's just call it handle history. And everything we want to do inside of this is we want to do history dot push. And then inside parentheses, we just want to push it to the URL we want. So in our case, let's do slash login, for example. And then for our button, we're just going to add on click event. And we're going to call that handle history function. So you will notice that we're, that this is not going to work still. We're going to run into issues. So use history works with React router. So we can wrap our app with router here. We imported it before. And let's just wrap the whole app with that. But even having it like this, if we click login, we're still going to run into an issue. So the issue for this is you can't have use history in top level component where you also have your router. So to fix the easiest way to fix that is we can actually go to our index.js. Instead of wrapping our app here with router, let's go to index.js. And we're going to copy this line to just import React router here. So import browser router as router. And we don't need use history. And then we're just going to wrap our app with router here. Let's just move it here. And if we go back to our app, we can just remove the router from here completely. And now this is going to work perfectly fine. So if we go click on go to login, as you can see here, it's going to go to slash login. So that works great. Also, we can use this with use effect, which is probably much more cool than using this. So we can import use effect. And maybe when the page loads, we want it to go to slash login as well. So we can add use effect here. And for our dependencies, we're just going to have an empty array. So it just runs when the page loads. And we're just going to add the same thing. So history.push login. And let's remove this function from the button and this right here. So once I save that, you can see it goes to slash login. Also, if we go to localhost 3000, press enter, it also goes to slash login. So there are multiple ways of how you can use this. I'll also show you the way of how you can use it inside other components. So let's go here and I'm just going to make a single component called login.js. I'm going to use the ES6 snippet I have and then it's just going to say login page here for now. And then let's import that here. So import login from dot slash login. It's not index, so this should be a login. And maybe we just want to render that component right here. So since we have React router inside of index, we can create routes here. So instead of importing browser router as router, we can just import route. And let's add a route. So we're going to add routes. We're going to have that equals slash login component equals. And we're going to render this login component we just made. So once we are on this route, slash login, we're going to render this component right here that's just going to say login page. And let's remove login from here. So if we go back, so we are still on slash login. We need to go to localhost 3000. And let's remove this or comment, comment out this use effect. So we're going to be here. And let's add that function back. So we're going to do, let's just do const change URL. 
and we're just gonna add this history dot push. So the same thing we had before. And for our button, we're just gonna add on click event and call that function. So now once we click the button, this should go to slash login. And once we're on slash login, we're gonna render this component. So we can click here and you can see a login page here. We go to local post 3000, it's not gonna be there anymore. And the last thing, if you wanted to use this in another example, so maybe you wanted to have router here. Let's go to index, remove it from here completely. Now, if we go back to our app, we're going to import browser router as router. And we're not going to use use history in this folder, only in this file, just so I can show you how that works. So we can remove this and remove these as well. And also, let's remove the route. And we're going to leave it like this. We need to remove this function as well. So now we can use this inside our other component. So if we go to login, we can import use history from React router DOM. And then here we're going to have the same thing. Once history equals use history. And then if we go back to app, let's just wrap it in a router for now. Since now we can have router here as well, since we moved our history to our another component. So if we go back to our login, we can try doing it with use effect. We can do it with button, whatever it is. Let's just do use effect for now. So use effect here. Then I'll just create a fast one for this example. And then here we can do history dot push and let's do slash test one two three and then then we need to import that component inside of here as we have it so let's just render it under this button and then there we go we're on test one two three so if we go to local post three thousand that use effect is gonna push it to one two three and we could do the same thing with button if we removed it from here for example and just add the button here instead. So let's just add it under here. So go to login and we're just gonna make a function that's gonna be the same. We're gonna have history.push. So we're gonna do handle URL and let's add history.push here. And then we can just add that function once we click the button inside this component. So what we're doing right now, we're having use history in another file and we still have router inside the app so we're not going to have any issues of this working so now if we click go to login go to localhost 3000 first and click here this is going to work the same exact way so if you want to have the router in app have it this way but then move your use history in another component but if you want to use use history here just go to index and wrap your app with react router instead and you can easily use use history inside the app here. So that would be it for this project. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.